I'm J-Man. And I'm Johnny Love. And we are back here again for the next installment of the Superhero Museum uh, with curator Alan Stewart as our host. And uh, this time we are talking about the Silver Age comic books. Silver and Age, Silver here Age. We go. <laughs> Welcome, comic book movie fans, to the, uh, the Silver Age section of our museum. Again, we're uh, kind of continuing our uh, history lesson from last week. And uh, we talked about, of course, the Golden Age. We talked about the, uh, the book that caused so much damage by uh, an insane doctor. Uh, and uh, now we're going to talk about where comic books make the comeback. Comic book superheroes that we know as today, the, you know, the modern ones. And that started in what is called the Silver Age era comic books. And the Silver Age era started with uh, DC relaunching their characters. Because basically you had, after the damage from Dr. Uh, Frederick Worthington's book, Seduction of the Innocent, you had most comic book companies going out of business. So what happens is, towards the late 1950s, you got JFK coming to office, the country kind of breathes a fresh, you know, fresh air, breath of fresh air, uh, and comic books make a comeback. Uh, DC starts that comeback with uh, new versions of Flash, uh, Green Lantern. We have the first appearances of these. The first appearance of New Green Lantern. Hal Jordan, my personal favorite. Yeah. And we first, met Hal. That's right. Hal has been here. So we've got the first appearance of uh, Hal Jordan, the uh, new version of the Atom. First Justice League instead of the Justice Society. Wow. Uh, Hawkman. So DC kind of relaunches this. And some of our users on this site have never seen these books. They've that's talked right. about them. They've heard sure. about them, but they've never seen them. That's right. And you that's can come here to so Hall of Heroes and see original first edition copies. These are not reprints. These are originals, mm -hmm. folks. Um, and then, so then what happens is then a, a company called Marvel comes into. Uh, Marvel uh, was previously known as Timely Comics, but now they relaunch under a new name. Totally brand new. They're not relaunching any new characters. They're totally brand new. And, of course, probably their most famous is, of course, The Amazing Spider-Man. you got to love The Amazing Spider-Man. Yes. My first appearance of Spider-Man, Amazing Fantasy 15, then The Avengers. Well, notice the webbing, too. Look how different Spider-Man is. That's right. Ditko originally drew it with the, the webbing. Um, and, of course, you don't see that anymore. We've got uh, The Avengers. Avengers. Number one right yep. there. Fantastic oh. Four, where Timely brings back one of their original characters, uh, Submariner, yeah. back. Mm -hmm. uh, first Thor. Oh, yeah. First Iron Man, which is an excellent movie. So excited about that coming back out. Number two next summer. And I am Iron Man. <laughs> May of X Men number one. Everybody knows the X Men. There's X Men number one. Love it. Yep. And we have like the first prints of Daredevil and Hulk and some of these in the back row. Avengers yep. number four. The first yep. prints of Captain, Captain America, America comes back, which is very cool. But just very famous books uh, that we have here. And then in the case, we have all the old uh, buttons by Marvel and DC. These are 1960s pieces. In fact, we have some of the original Marvel uh, Marching Society buttons. <laughs> That's very, very cool pieces. That's cool. Yep. And then if you are big toy and action figure fans, the we Silver are. Age is when action figures come out. Sweet. And if you look right here, the first... DC action figures, the little three-inch ones by Ideal, those are the Justice League figures. Very rare, hard to come by. What's up with the non-paint on them? That's how they originally they dropped? Can, yeah, well, the superhero out? ones they had painted. Okay. But then sometimes they didn't. And then the That's villains, not the Mexican version of it, is no, it? No, 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 it's not, no, it's not. <laughs> the, You know, it was like you could paint them, but then the villains just came different colors. Gotcha. Yep. And then the same thing here with the Marvel ones. You see here the first ever Spider-Man action figure. Daredevil and Captain America. These are from the mid 1960s, and then over here you have Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor. We've come a long way, fellas. Hammer of the <laughs> That's right. We've come a long way. And if you if you watch Toy Story, you know the the little green army men. You know that's uh, Mark's toy company is the same ones that made these Marvel pieces ah, okay. that made the old green tar army men. And cool. the Very stationary cool. poses. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yes. No absolutely. Movie. And then here's some really cool origin statues, kind of the origin of the Mar different Marvel characters, which is very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Those are real nice Silver Age era statues that you see here. And then we also have what is known as the rarest superhero toy in existence, the Marvel Tin Train. Most folks have never seen or heard of this. In 30 years of collecting, I've only come across it one other time. Again, no rust. Guys. Yeah, there, is, and that's from mid-1960s, 65, year old. 65, years, yep. Guys. And wow. then the Thor car is also made by the same toy company, very rare piece. Uh, so you you know, you know see here uh, rare, valuable toys. I like this red skull back there. That's, that's gotta yeah, be that's a uh, rubber piece. That's from the 1960s. These are all Silver Age, you know, 1960s era pieces. 
cool. We just got some really 